Hello everybody. Today we've got something I've been working on just for the past few hours or so, just trying to get it to sort of work. Um, if you've seen my old video before it got flagged and removed, it was 72 XP pack and just if you're still wondering about that, um, it's been about two and a half years and I'll get a video of that the next time I'm in Windows 7 on this computer. I originally was going to make a new 7 to XP pack video today on my Dell Dimension 3000, but due to problems with Hypercam 2, just because I wanted something lightweight to record, not something quite as heavy as Sony Vegas or Camtasia Studio, it had the audio like a minute off throughout the whole video. But I'll have to make that video on this computer at some point. Today we're doing the 8 XP pack. And just so you're wondering, or just if you're wondering what it'll look like. Oops. I don't want that. This is what it's going to look like. Um, first things is, of course we can't get our start button here. And... We can't get the, the taskbar and the theme to look dead center on with Windows XP. I mean, I'm just going to be doing beta stuff until the RTM really comes out and people start getting hacks and everything. Maybe I'll have a better 8 to XP pack. But for now, this is what it's going to look like. We can see that we kind of have a darkish blue taskbar. We have the wallpaper which is still the original Windows XP wallpaper collection from the 7 XP pack and we have our icons on the side of course it has the sounds and all that good stuff and another thing I'll want to go over is because I'm using the RTM build I'm not supposed to have it until two days from now when it goes out on MSDN I'll be able to get the real thing then but what will happen is with the Windows XP thing where if you took it from Windows 7 it would show your user, user account thing and then the Windows 7 at the bottom you have that same image and you can apply it to the start screen or not start screen your login screen on here as well but there will be a w website of course called 8xppack.weebly.com just like 7xp.weebly.com and you're going to get this file here with the 7z logo it's just like this one right here, but without any logos or anything, and I can make it in 7 it quite easy. So, it's an EXE, and it'll extract. And here, you want to go to k slash windows slash globalization. And then, I already have it there, so I'm not even going to bother. But what's inside these folders is of course the icon files for all the icons here the wallpaper and just so you know if you were wondering where did this Windows Energy Bliss picture come in this was actually well I had an old Dell XPS M140 laptop and when my dad bought it he got Media Center on it and this was a wallpaper from it but that's also in there um, we get our XP theme. This is just Luna, so Luna has a little bit better capability, and maybe in the future we can get better themes, stuff like that. Of course, our sounds, a login screen, which what I mean here is for the start screen or lock screen. Install and take ownership. Now, what this is is if you ever have problems moving things and it's yelling at you. You're not permission of owner or whatever. You just install this and then you can right click on the file and take ownership. And you shouldn't have to worry about those problems anymore. But to start out with, we need to copy the sounds to the media folder, which I've already done, but just examples. Let's go to your Windows Drive, Windows folder, and find your media folder and put the f files in here and if you're wondering this is where all the other windows sounds are at in back in the globalization folder we need to get the theme in there and we do that by copying these files and we put them into the resources folder of course under windows again Reef sources themes and just paste it in here but don't worry about opening it and if you're wondering why there's Luna Aereo I'm 
can't get that to work, so I'm just gonna leave it Luna how it is. Um, under the wallpaper, you copy the wallpaper folder, and then back under Windows folder yet again, go to the web folder, wallpaper, and put it in here, along with Earth, Flowers, Wallpaper, Windows, and then they'll all be here. Now the last thing you gotta do is open this Windows Desktop theme file. And first glance, we get, of course, all our XP wallpapers in here. But the taskbar might be a bit big, and the icons on the side are a bit big as well. So you gotta right click the desktop, go to View, Small Icons. There's our small icons. Now, to make the taskbar so the icons aren't all smashed together, use small taskbar buttons. So it makes the taskbar small. And then under taskbar buttons, you go to never combine, and that way they say the text along with the little icon. Of course, you just get all your wallpapers and everything, which is very cool. But for the next version, I plan to hopefully get the theme really looking like XP, along with maybe a screensaver and an archive thing that does it all by itself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can put it to good use while it's here and early.